My name is Natalie DiMaggio, and I'm the Director of Partnership Marketing and Activations. I've been with the Lions for two seasons. Welcome to another Women in Football segment presented by Priority Health. I'm Danny Rogers, and joining me today is Natalie DiMaggio. Natalie, a GVSU grad with a resume that includes a ton of experience. So what stops between Grand Rapids and Detroit led you to the Detroit Lions? Yeah, I believe it was a combination of a lot of things, but coming out of college, I knew I had a passion for marketing brands and also planning events. Um, I got my degree um, in event management and business, so that kind of led me to an advertising agency. I spent the first seven years of my career bridging the gaps of what consumers see on TV through print ads um, or out of home billboards and bringing it live, tangible interactions with the brand um, through, through events. Um, so it was super rewarding to see the relationships that were being built between brands and its consumers live and in person. Um, and then through those experience, I gained an understanding of how sports um, can also have a huge impact on consumers' decisions, um, which led me to um, sports altogether. Now, did I see myself ending up in sports? No, but the combination for my love of large scale events and, and marketing brands came together in my current role here at the Lions. Okay, what does the daily life look like in partnership activation and marketing? Oh geez, um, it changes every day, which is what I love most about um, my job. From working um, with large scale brands to accomplish goals and objectives for the year for them, um, to working game days, to planning large scale events, um, to budgeting. Uh, the partnership marketing department um, touches a lot of different facets within the organization, which creates this very dynamic position, position. Okay, you just mentioned you were not planning on working in sports. So what is the biggest challenge that you face now in the pro sports realm with the Detroit Lions? I mean, as we all know, COVID has had a huge impact and was very, very hard to navigate. Um, however, I think coming into the sports landscape um, new to, to sports was particularly challenging in and of itself. Um, the only true experience I had coming into this was working on um, one of our local bowl games, the Quick Lane Bowl. Um, but other than that, this has been like a completely new landscape. Um, so that's been a, a huge challenge, but super rewarding to see um, how it's come together the last two seasons. Which partnership activation or marketing project have you been the most proud of or have loved working on the most here since you joined the Lions? Um, I would have to say there's not a single activation I can point to, um, but when I find myself um, the most proud is when we engage with our community. Um, we have so many partners um, that find our greater Detroit community and area and serving it so important. Um, we have multiple programs throughout the year um, that help uh, the less fortunate to educate and to provide assistance to. Um, it's truly one of the most rewarding things and parts about, about this job. You are in a director role. So having seen it, having been there now, how important is it for the Detroit Lions to have women in these big leadership roles? Yeah, I think it's so relevant um, in today's landscape and it's been relevant for so many years. Um, but in today's world, we're starting to see the change. Um, to have representation in such a male dominated industry helps to show other women that we are relevant, we are capable and you know we are making breakthroughs. Um, I think that representation not only in um, leadership roles but um, throughout a sports organization is, is so important. Um, it's how we're going to continue and, and see progress being made. Last but not least, Natalie, what is your best advice for men or women who want to rise the ranks into marketing roles with professional sports teams? Yeah, I know that a lot of people look at our job and think it's glamorous and fun and cool. Um, and although it is great to work for a sports organization, um, you spend a lot of hours and there's a lot of dedication behind it. So I think my um, biggest piece of advice would be obviously to stay dedicated to the work that you're doing. Set yourself apart from others and always stay humble.